This is DJ Carmi of KPTR Party Train Radio. You are about to witness my exclusive interview with Karen White, singer of Superwoman. We will have the interview by telephone. This interview is dedicated to the KPTR Party Train Radio fans. And that interview is coming up next. Are you simply tired of being broke right now? Are the gas prices just driving you insane? Well, I have the perfect solution for you, and it's called Instant Rewards. Instant Rewards is now hiring online referral agents. That's right, get paid on a daily basis, advertising for Fortune 500 companies. For more information, please give us a call at 904-274-0817. That is 904-274-0817. You will not regret it. It's a beautiful thing the way the two of them sang about knowing. It's like freedom rang, strong the bond became, and they both felt good about knowing. Somehow the love felt more pure, like it was sure to endure, and now they were secure about knowing. It's like a gift from the sky, free they both can fly, and look each other in the eye, now knowing. Knowing is beautiful. There are over 19 million new STD cases reported in the U.S. every year. Anna Light Health provides confidential, convenient, and rapid STD testing for consumers. Their tests start at $79, and their comprehensive eight-panel test is only $249. Their care advisors can help customers get a doctor's recommendation on what to test for. Find the nearest location for testing and even schedule the test itself. For more information, please call 877 242 1150. That's 877 242 1150. A person's credit score is a key factor in determining the interest rates you pay for your cars, mortgages, credit cards, and other loans. In fact, it may prevent people from even being approved. When you're dealing with something as important as your credit, you don't want just someone good on your side. You want the best. That's what CreditRepair.com offers. It's a three-step process that has been developed, refined, and proven over many years and thousands of customers. It's people who are not only experts in the credit repair field, but also experts at helping individuals meet their credit goals. They are ready to put industry-leading experience and technology to work for you. They are also ready to develop a game plan for your situation. For more information, give them a call at 877-625-0073. That's 877-625-0073. Party Train Radio welcomes Karen White. And Karen is most notable for her famous song, Superwoman, which was the woman's anthem. If you were a, a girlfriend or a wife coming up in the late 80s or early 90s. So first of all, Karen, uh, we want to welcome and thank you so much for allowing myself and my KPTR listeners, to get a chance to hear about your your life in music and what you have going on right now. We really appreciate that. Oh, thank you. It's such a pleasure to be on the show, and I'm um, looking forward to the interview. Great. So we'll just get right into it. Um, first of all, and I know a lot of you probably don't know this if you haven't done your research, but we're going to ask you, where were you born? 
I was born in Los Angeles, California. Awesome. Now, how many siblings do you have? I have um, five, five siblings, and I'm the youngest. I'm the baby. All right. Mm-hmm. How many uh, girls and boys? Are- uh, three sisters and one brother. Great. Now, the next question I want to ask you at what age did you really realize that you wanted to pursue singing career? How old were you? Wow, probably hmm, about uh, maybe eight or nine. Eight or I, nine. Um, mm-hmm. I def- I, yeah, I definitely um, was a, a child that had a lot of focus and dedication, and um, I would always create opportunities to perform and sing and just uh, at school PTA meetings, and so I love the feeling. Uh, I love the attention, and um, I, and it you know it definitely felt like it was something I wanted to do. And so I would say at a very young age. Right now, I did read that, of course. You know your your mom; she was a choir director, and your father mm-hmm. played the trumpet, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. was yeah. Mm-hmm. Right now, are any of your brothers and sisters also? singing R&B right now? Is everybody still doing gospel or? No, I'm I'm the only one um, that's singing, or, or, but I have a sister who also is a choreographer and she works with me and um, she also has a dance company that she tours with. So we're the only two that are in the arts. Oh, okay. Outstanding. I would love to see that. I can't, I'm really excited too about your work that you have coming up now, but we'll get into that later. Okay. Another another question I want to ask you, you know, growing up, I know you say you started feeling like you wanted to pursue that career at about eight or nine, but what what artists, if you can remember, inspired you that truly wanted to sing the most? Or was it, was it an artist or was it someone in the family? No, it, it was an artist. It probably uh, at that time was um, maybe Diana Ross. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I think <laughs> uh, she had the whole universal appeal, and with her doing movies, racing the blues, and um, I, I just was really influenced a lot by uh, her worldwide appeal and. Um, yeah, I, I, I actually, that's, that would probably be the, the best artist at that time. Gotcha. And, and Diana Ross was a very, a, an amazing singer. I've always loved her myself. Now, um, Karen, you became popular uh, in the late 80s. Now, who discovered the talent that you had? I know I'm pretty sure you did talent shows and, and things like that, but who actually discovered and say, hey, this young lady has it. She has to be the one. Well, the interesting thing about the business is that when you look back on it, you you find that it's not really one big thing that happened. It's right. just a consistency of doing a lot of things, and and that's how you kind of break through because mm-hmm. you're not you're not even um, you're just doing the work. <laughs> and you know, I, I believe probably my first real shot at knowing from a professional was um, I used to be in a group called Legacy and. Switch, uh, the Motown recording artist, Switch, um, the drummer Jody Sims put together this group. Mm -hmm. And that was when I knew that it could become real. You know, I would go to Switch rehearsals. Um, You know, they were phenomenal. You know, Bobby DeBarge, just a great band. And so I really got to, um, when I auditioned and, and got that, I think that was when it became real, like, it's like, oh, it's happening. Oh, my sense, gosh. Uh, because we were going to try to get a record deal. And uh-huh. and then actually from that situation, um, you know, I wound up um, not not being in the group. And then, but after that, I auditioned for Don Cornelius and uh, the recording artist. He had, he managed an artist by the name of O'Brien, who was kind of like the Eric Benet back of that day. Right. Um, and, um and then once I really, that was probably, you know, the first paying gig because I actually, you know, toured and then, and uh, that was, that was really instrumental too. Right. And then you went on to uh, do a lead vocal with Jeff Lorber's, right? Facts of Life. 
Yeah, Facts of Love. Uh, yeah, Jeff Forber is a jazz fusion artist, and mm-hmm. he was signed to Warner Brothers. And yes, and uh, myself and another artist, we were featured. And so if the song, you know, performed and did well, and the song did, you know, Warner Brothers said we would have an opportunity to be signed. And so that was really, like I that was just, an, you know, I guess the, the, the biggest uh, deal that I had because I was actually going to be able to have my own contract with Warner Brothers at the time. Gotcha. And now um, at this moment, we know that you do have a new album and that's Carpe Diem. And it it has been hot, especially on my station. Everybody is pretty much excited and also excited about this interview. And I can't wait for us to get to that. And what we're going to do now is kind of discuss you know, I guess the midways between, um, well, after Facts of Love, uh, when you actually got in with L.A. and Face, uh, we definitely want to talk about the huge hit Superwoman. And I know how I felt when that song came out. I felt like you actually sung that for me. Because <laughs> me and the girlfriends was like, yeah, you know, we were singing it constantly. I meant. Now, who wrote that song? Was it uh, the L.A. Face, or did you have a hand in that? No, I didn't have a hand in it at all. I, I you know, I was under such great uh, mentorship, seeing the fact that everyone, L.A. and Baby First, Baby Face, I was at the beginning of their, their you know, incredible career. But um, they wrote it, and when I... I, I when I heard it, I was just like, wow. I mean, it, yes. it was just for men to, to understand the sensibilities of a woman like that. And Faith is really incredible. Yes. I mean, just anyway, because he just right. He just really, under, you know, his whole career was built on saying what women really want to say to a man. Right. Um, so, he, yeah, so he's just <laughs> an incredible artist in that sense. And, and when I heard it, I was like, wow. I just thought, you know, I was so young, I didn't really know what a superwoman really was. I was only 24. I hadn't been married. I hadn't really yes. lived. And, you know, but today when I sing it, it, it has a whole other meaning. But it's something that they saw in me, the strength of, of uh, you know, Keon White. And it was interesting because uh, Faith said, you know, that song was for me. That, you know, he felt like that was what I was. So I was like, okay. You know, I was very excited to get it because at that time, they were so hot, and you know, they could, could have given it to any artist. Correct. Okay, well, Karen and KPTR listeners, we're going to go ahead and take our first station break and make sure you all come back with more on Karen White. Education Online Center works with thousands of accredited institutions nationwide to provide students from all walks of life with the information they need to make an informed decision regarding their educational future. Like you, we understand that a great education is essential for a successful career. By providing a multitude of nationally accredited educational options, National Education Online Center helps thousands of students find an ideal academic environment in which to succeed. We are a free service for any resident of the United States, 18 or older, who has a high school diploma or GED. For more information, please give us a call at 877-626-8254. That's 877-626-8254. Speed 
training. It's how advanced auto parts trains our staff to get to the right part even faster. Not bad. The part you need even faster. Advanced auto parts. Service is our best part. Next! Get 20% off your auto parts or auto needs by calling 866 943 1696. That's 866 943 1696 and tell the agent code CC20. Happiness is when I, I think of you and we we'll make it together and rendezvous. I'll be on time. You bring the wine and we'll be locked the door or you'll be on mine. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are still here with Karen White. And we were discussing uh, the song that she sung, Superwoman, back there in the in the 90s, the early 90s. And we're going to continue on with the interview. I am truly enjoying myself and happy that Karen White is here with us today. All right, so we're going to get right back into it. Now, with this album... There were songs on there that I know I truly was in love with, and that was Love Saw It. And that was the duet that you did with Babyface. Uh, he didn't know I was in love with him at the time, but <laughs> that was one of my favorite songs. And then Secret Rendezvous was hot, The Way You Love Me. And that album went platinum. That was platinum status on that album. And I have to tell you this, your voice was so distinct back then. I meant you truly were your own voice. You didn't sound like anybody. And I know that was, you know, a part of your goal. And you truly, truly have an amazing voice. So now we want to, you're more than welcome. Um, And we also want to get into the details of the second album um, that you came out with. What was the name of that album? Oh, Ritual of Love. Ritual of Love. Now, did you, I was looking on the, of course, you hit the billboards and you had some very, uh, some uh, hot 100 hits on there. Which album did, do you think uh, did the best, this one or the first one? Well, the first one did the best in the United States. The second did the best uh, outside of the United States. Uh-huh. Uh, but for me... I felt like it was great because I, you know, the second album, oh, and with Jimmy and Terry producing it, the amazing Jimmy and Terry, uh, Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam, um, me writing was very important and for me to tell my story. And I was in love at the time, just got married to Terry. So All right. songs like Tear, yeah, some of the best songs on that album were not really, you know, Tears of Joy, which I sang at Eddie Murphy's wedding and. Amazing. A song called Beside You. Just really, it had a lot of great, you know, and it also had my biggest record, which is the number one pop record. It was number one across the board, Romantic, um, which I was a songwriter in. And it was more, it was more pop. And at that time, I had switched management. I had, um, went with a different manager who kind of saw me like a black, uh, Madonna, as, this, as I guess he would say. <laughs> so it was interesting how, yeah, I mean, you have, that's why it's so important to know who you are, you yes. know, and to uh, not let anybody sway you because I had a lot of, uh, you know, I had success in both, all three genres. I had number one, but it's pop, dance, and R&B. So for me, um, it, it, you know, it was just a matter of which direction I felt comfortable with. And so um, it was, you know, that was, that was an amazing album. The third album, I worked with Faith and uh, Jimmy and Terry. That was great. Um, and like that one as well, a lot of them, a lot of the best songs weren't released. And, yes. um, you know, but it was incredible having Babyface come to, uh, Minnesota because it was the first time that I got him. Wow. And, you know, he was recording at Jimmy and Terry Studio, so that was pretty, pretty, uh, epic right there. <laughs> so oh, like, oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody could do that. Yeah, if anybody could do that, I mean, I 
guess that would be, you know, I, I'm always kind of bringing people together that, you know, that would never possibly do that. So I was excited yes. about that. That had to be exciting. I'm a baby face. You had everybody oh, in that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let me get back to my composer. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to tell you uh, another one of my favorite songs that you did was a song called I'd Rather Be Alone. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that was off the third album. Mm -hmm. That song, I still play it today and it's like it, was, it just came out yesterday. Uh, it's something yeah. about it. I guess it's, it, it, to me, the music that they kind of laid out for you in the songs was like you said, you're, it's the females just letting the men know, you know, how you feel. For the first time, it felt like we can actually speak our minds, you know, <laughs> through music. At least that's the way I felt. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That was pretty powerful, um, especially at that time. Um, you know, at OJ trial was, was pretty big, and um, women were really you know, uproar about it. And um, I understand my position as far as I accept, you know, having strong uh, opinions and being a strong woman, but to me, strength is when you be, when you really can be submissive because God has our, God has already put together a plan. And if everyone plays a part of, then that's how you have a successful marriage or union with someone. But, um, it's not about, um, trying to be a rebellious woman, you right. know, or anything, but it's just, um, you know, just, I, I mean, I'm actually going through this, um, situation where you have, um, when you know we are in these relationships and we really get what we what we ask for and if we're you know if you're putting out if you're if you're acting like a wife and then um, you're not and then yes. you know a man has to say to you you know well hey you know we're not married mm -hmm. I mean who's the who's the fool you're 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 letting him you're giving him the benefits of a wife so why would he want a wife absolutely you know, so, I mean, because he can continue to treat you know so what's the difference so it really you know and this is what i've learned so yeah and that song just you know be alone you know what's what's wrong with what's you know what's wrong with that there's a season and a time for everything and and um i think women need to understand that and um not feel the pressure right to feel like they just gotta be with you know just gotta be with someone if it's not gonna be healthy Right. And a lot of it, I'm going to just say this is, I think is on upbringing. And um, I did an uh, interview with Calvin Richardson. And to me, he said it correct. You, you have to be taught how to love and how to respect yeah. yourself when it comes to love and partnerships and marriage. So a lot of times we lose our way and we have to go back to the basics, even if it's going back to the Bible. Let's figure it out. You know, of let course. God tell us, teach us how to love. You know, so there you go. First Corinthians, you know, tells you what love is, and it's so yeah. opposite of what the world says. You know, yes, patience, so kind, right. long suffering. Yes, you know, and in these, <laughs> but you know, in today's world, you know, it, it's it's the opposite. You know, it's like you know, if you're not doing this, then I'm out. So it's it's interesting. Um, and like I said, God knows best. So until we're really, you know, really ready to be obedient in that sense, I believe. We're going to see more, like you said, people just don't really understand. Right. And I'm speaking to myself, too, learning mm -hmm. to love, really understand what that means. Absolutely. And, guys, we're going to go to another station break. And once again, make sure you all come back because we will have more on Miss Karen White. That a girl like me never dreamed of And it was for me, no, not really But there was not a guy who was special enough Until you came and made me so Are you simply tired of being broke right now? Are the gas prices just driving you insane? Well, I have the perfect solution for you And it's called Instant Rewards Instant Rewards is now hiring online referral agents. That's right, get paid on a daily basis advertising for Fortune 500 companies. 
For more information, please give us a call at 904-274-0817. That is 904-274-0817. You will not regret it. Have drugs or alcohol taken over your life or the life of someone you love? Get help from one of our admission coordinators now. Take control now by calling the National Addiction Helpline for a free referral to a rehabilitation center best suited for you. Call the National Addiction Helpline now at 877-239-9639. That's 877-239-9639. This show is brought to you by Megasuits.com. Megasuits.com designer clothing online strives to be the best online retailer of fine menswear. They provide an extensive collection of quality men's suits and accessories, dress shirts, ties, shoes, belts, sunglasses, and watches. They offer great quality garments with affordable prices and are dedicated to keeping their customers in touch with the latest trends. Megasuits features over 10,000 suits in many styles and colors for any occasion, and they include Italian fabrics and tuxedos, as well as luxurious and fashion forward leather blazers and jackets. If you call right now, you can take advantage of these specials. Suits Special, buy one, get one free. Free shipping on any order over $129. Get 15% off any order over $200 when you call this number. 888-787-4830. That is 888-787-4830. Everybody, welcome back. We are still here with Karen White, and she's really enlightening and sharing some very helpful information. Of course, about and we talked about our thoughts on love and uh, what we think should be done. But the third part of this interview, of course, is going to be pretty much Karen White taking the floor because we have to talk about the new album, Carpe Diem. And Karen, we want to talk about. The singles that I've truly enjoyed since I heard it, Sister, Sister, Seize the Day, and it's so good to have you back. We miss you. So, oh, man. <laughs> really. Let so, me tell you guys, Carpe Diem. Mm-hmm. Most people go, what's Carpe Diem? It's a Latin phrase for Seize the Day. And right. It's so, I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. My life is a, I feel like I'm mirroring the reality of what I'm singing in my movement right now. It's like, it's important, you know, that we seize the day and, you know, don't make any excuses. Don't contemplate, you know, and don't let any obstacles stop you from your path to greatness. So that's really where I'm at right now. And, I'm, and I want to inspire all of us to really seize the day. That is awesome. And sister, sister, too. You know, we're back under women. We love that strength. We have to hear, you know, every now and then we need to hear it. With the music. Um, and, hey, we got to be there for yeah. each other, you know? We got to be strong. Uh, yeah, that's a love, love mm-hmm. letter to, to my sisters. Although, you know, I just, uh, it's interesting because, man, this generation, it's, I think what they need it even more so. There, There is not any, um, I think women are really acting like men 
um, <laughs> where they're taking on the temperament of, you know, kind of like, uh, hey, if, there's just no, there's no unity and, and whatever goes sometimes. Um, so I, I just really w- wanted to encourage, you know, the young sisters that, you know, it, it's about, um, I mean, it's like, we all reap what we sow. So the mm-hmm. whole point is, is that, you know, don't do, you know, especially when you're, you're messing with other folks, you know, in relationships, wives, uh, girlfriends, you know, that, that's just a recipe for disaster. And, um, and that song is really just saying, like, you know, if he cheats on me, he's gonna cheat on you too. So <laughs> really, what do you have? So it's really just a little, it's a little check. <laughs> Uh, you know, me checking, you know, love letter to the sisters, but me checking also the sisters in the sense of like, you know, we got to come together and love one another. And that is so true. That is so true. So, um, Kara, now I heard that you had to run out to the BET Awards on Thursday. Was that a quick move that um, you guys did? <laughs> I had, oh, you mean uh, the, Was the, it? Um, Oh, the Soul Train Awards, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Soul Train Awards. Let me clear that up. Yeah. Yeah, I went to the Soul Train Awards, and I was sitting with uh, the fabulous show, Kalia of Men Condition. And oh, my. It was great. Yeah, it was great catching up with him, and um, great seeing everybody, and all of that. Uh, I'm always, I, I just like my men. I'm always, <laughs> it was a lot of women, but I didn't really take pictures of a lot of women. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm like, oh, well, I don't know, but uh, it was great catching up with everybody, and uh, like I said, I hadn't been, you know, it's been 18 years since I've been, you know, on the red carpet. So oh, that's my. Crazy to say that, but that's true. <laughs> and so you were doing um, real estate, you were into interior design for a while, right? Yeah, well, actually more real estate investment. I was a, you know, builder, I and build homes and design them, and, and I was moving. Mm-hmm. And that was uh, that was very lucrative for me. I was doing that. I wanted to be home raising my daughter. Um, I went through a divorce and I lost my mother at the same time. Oh. And um, I just didn't really think I was being successful as Karen White, the person, the spiritual side of me. Because me losing, you know, being divorced from Terry Lewis, which, which was an incredible man, that was such an eye opener for me. Yes. So I didn't really want to just get back out and sing again and, and I don't know, just my whole perspective changed on on um, life at that time. Um, I had to really get into caring with the person and the, yes. my integrity and just really what I was doing this for and, and you know, just like I said, that was a huge wake up call in my life and um, so I, you know, I didn't really know what I was going to do and then I actually, you know, before um Terry and I divorced, we had built this uh, beautiful home, and so I knew that I enjoyed that process, and then as I moved to the Bay Area, I moved to Sacramento, mm-hmm. I saw that it was very lucrative, the, the city was uh, still building out, you know, we had just gotten the Kings basketball team, so it was just a lot of growth in the city, and so I, I, I met with a mentor who actually kind of taught me how to do this, and she had already, uh, you know, sold, you know, and, and built you know, homes, like maybe 12 or 15 homes. It was an older white lady who was incredible. Mm-hmm. And she taught me, you know, how to do it. And and the deal with my daughter was, is that, okay, I'll do this, Mom, but I don't want to move in the different schools every time. Because you know, I would have to move every two years. I would build these beautiful homes, decorate them, and then sell them. Right. Every two years. You know, that was beneficial for, you know, for the tax purposes. And so I told her, okay, that's, you know, that was the deal. So I just moved around in an area called Granite Bay and um, Greater Sacramento. And um, that's what I did until the housing market, you know, tanked. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, yeah, and it was, um, everything kind of lined up. It's so, it's so, you know, I believe that, you know, the plan is, was already in motion for my life. And um, as Ashley was graduating from high school, we moved back to Los Angeles, and Terry lived in Malibu, and so she was able to be here her last year. And, uh-huh. and um, I didn't really have any more excuses for why I wasn't really singing. <laughs> well, it's time, huh? And it's, oh, yeah. And that's incredible, too. Um, you Sometimes I feel, personally, that sometimes we have to go through that part in our lives, and it helps us grow. 
because that's something that you had to see. So now that you are, that life has matured, you are ready to go back out there and handle business. And I am happy. I'm ready for you. So we want you to tell the audience where to pick up Carpe Diem. It is out, right? The entire album? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the right. entire album is on. Um, you can order it from, uh, the CD from Amazon. If you can't find it from your uh, local retailer. Mm-hmm. And it's also on my website. Everything I'm doing, um, you know, my uh, I'm going to be doing a reality show. Um, wow. Everything will be on my website. And that's Karen White. K A R Y N W H I T E dot M E Karen White dot me. Um, yeah, I'm doing a reality show about how I balance. Um, it's going to be with several w- powerful women mm-hmm. of all, co- you know, of all um, backgrounds. But it's just how do you maintain your your spiritual uh, balance of of you and being in an industry and being in Los Angeles, you know. So yes. what what do you do to to stay, you know, played up? and just moving forward in a positive uh, direction and having so many temptations and things like that. So I'm excited about it because that's really... Um, I'm excited you know, about that, I mean, a reality yeah. show. Oh, yeah, I live it. Yeah, me and my daughter are going to be all you. in it. I hope you know that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Too. Just, because I think it's a positive because you got to know how to you know, deal with temptations and you know, how do you stay focused? And so anyway, I'm excited about that. And, and I'm excited about the new record. And um, I'm just thankful to be back. I'm glad I've rekindled my love affair with music and, and God yes. is using me. I have a book, also a thoughts and affirmation called uh, Carpe Diem. And that also has poems and it's just positive uh, affirmations to help you daily with um, getting it in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm so, yeah, I'm 40 something and I feel like God, this is a tough time because for a lot of times for women, they don't feel like they're young enough. Yes. And then they don't feel like they're, they're not old either. So it's a time where you could easily kind of settle. Yeah. And I'm, I'm pushing the boundaries. I'm, I'm starting my career over. So I want to inspire women to go after their dreams and go get it, whatever it is, going back to school. Starting a business and it's with the Karen White, like she did it. So right, I'm doing it. You gotta do. You know, the world is is a different. Uh, that's the great thing about the world we live in now. It became smaller with yes. you know the internet and social media, and, and we, we can really do what we want to do. We just gotta do the work. So Absolutely. I'm about that. <laughs> and you and I are in that same on that same level, the forty something. So yeah. we're both. Hey, I, I think I we're at this. <laughs> yeah. You know, we we just got to stay though. focused. I do, too. I, I feel so much better. Yeah. Yes. With the wisdom. And, oh, yeah. You know, when you know yourself, when you know, to me, it's like, you know, how when the words constantly trying to, you know, maybe maybe a look may not even look good on us, but we'll just be doing things because it's popular. So when you know yourself, it's the greatest because you, you stay in your lane. And you, you yes. like, I, I know who I am now. So that's why I love. I'm like, I know Karen White is. Leave me alone. Right. I was talking to your friend the other day about that. I'm like, you know, it's amazing to know as much as we know when you can just look at a path and just know exactly where it's going to go. So, you know, we're so smart. We know which direction not to go into because we know where it's going to lead. And that's what I love about our oh, age. Yeah. Oh, yes, man. <laughs> and Karen White. Um, guys, make sure that you pick up the book and also go to the website, KarenWhite.me. Uh, check out what she's doing now. She has some amazing videos on there. I've been on there very inspired by them, too. I wanted to actually be there, especially the one in Japan <laughs> where everybody oh. was singing. I love that one. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, I got all kind of stuff. I'm, I'm really embracing uh, reality uh, the world we live in. Huh? Everybody uh, wants you know, so I'm like, okay, go for it. You get to see everything. Everything. And that's what I love about you. You're so open with it, and I adore that. And Karen, thank once you. again, thank you so much for giving us some time. And KPTR listeners, I know you're hating, but that's all right. <laughs> you wish you was here with, like me. I'm just teasing. But uh, no. <laughs> much love to my audience, and thank you all for tuning in. And Karen, anytime. I would love to check back on you later on after the reality show and get the juice. <laughs> See how that yeah, turns that out. Great. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a good, a good thing. Not, we start filming that in February, so okay. check back in with me. <laughs> oh, definitely. And God bless and one love to you, sister. Oh, God bless you, too. And God bless your listeners. And I want to say to everybody, please uh, seize the day. Seize the day and get that album. Love you guys. All right, and we're out. Come on and wake up, sisters. Cause ain't nobody tripping about what you got on. See, I should have your back. Hey, you should have mine. We've been fighting for too long. Sister, 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 sister.